one of the three principal damage functions is ultraviolet light in addition to heat and, and water. Um, we often don't consider the significance of UV damage in our building systems and building assemblies. Uh, it's critical, especially for layers that are not exposed on the surfaces like claddings, but layers that we put together in the building over time during the construction process are able to resist UV damage. If we don't select those materials correctly, they're not going to be able to perform during the useful service life of the building. The easiest ways to uh, understand ultraviolet light and UV is that it's basically the sun giving building materials and building products a sunburn. Um, there's a big difference between a wall and a roof being exposed to ultraviolet light, sunlight, in Minneapolis when compared to Houston and when both are compared to St. Louis. Also, the direction matters. The south and the west exposures are going to be zapped an awful lot more than the north and the east exposures. Uh, it, it, it also uh, matters a, a great deal whether the material can be easily accessed to be replaced. We don't have a big issue with replacing shingles on a 15 to 25 year basis because they're on the outside of the building. How long do you expect cladding systems to last before they have to be replaced? It would be kind of bad practice to have a 20-year layer behind a 50 to a 75-year cladding system.